What I'm going to do is uh, read a brief column that I've written that will appear in the next Monday 2000, another couple of weeks or so. And it's called uh, Remote Control, the Interactivity Myth. So there you are in a beach chair in Cozumel sending a wireless fax to your office. You on your spud couch argue jazz history with a prof at Harvard. You drive a slick car through a toll booth and pay with a digital money smart card. When? Why, 20 minutes into the future, of course. And this cyberpunk utopia will be brought to you from AT&T? <laughs> You've seen these spots. You've seen these spots. They went into production five minutes after the first flack whispered information superhighway. It's a populist techno revolution. 500 channels of integrated interactive services, from town halls to shopping malls, courtesy of your friendly neighborhood Gigacorp. From the Oval Office on down, they've been pitching the info super hype way, but nobody's bothered to unpack the press kit. The interactive incarnation of TV has been mitosing in the dark for almost a decade at the bottom feeder level of technology. You know, those infomercials, those home shopping channels. The higher tech version will simply pump up the volume. Already, Madison Avenue is fighting a salvage and turf from the invasive interactive love. It's serious. Pay-per-view pay TV programming could kill conventional advertising. So their new computer Windows spots are already training you to deal with the info adway by setting you up with a mock graphical user interface. Just do the old point and click on your screen right now. A viewer test drives his new car from his lazy boy. His room shakes as the car hits the road. <laughs> a Clairol Glint model fine tunes her hair color with a remote from a color bar at the bottom of her screen. Subtext is, interacting with your new super TV is rewarding ladies, oops, empowering women, as a new hair color, and twice as simple. <laughs> Mirroring the hoopla of Time Warner in the White House, these spots reassure us about these new unfamiliar digital technologies. Don't worry, little people. Merging the TV, telephone, and personal computer only scores you that, that wonderful oxymoron, a smart TV. <laughs> MTV will surely act on its slogan that the, quote, music revolution will be televised. Bono has newer, dumber sunglasses in U2's new laser disc, and you can freeze the song, pull down a menu, and order up those shades. <laughs> Gets your own authentically grunge guitar like Kurt Cobain wears in the Smells Like Teen Spirit video. Instant golden oldies. And for all you tattooed dog dudes, Al Jorgensen of Ministry offers pre-thrash leather. Just as Japanese malls provide massage parlors, bet that the interactive malls will purvey the nudge wink. The Victoria's Secret channel will be QVC and are cut with virtual Valerie. A well... <laughs> A well-photoshopped Stephanie Seymour and fellow femicans swan about in fluffy wisps, remote clickable to other wisps. Subscription, as in the mail order pass, could be contingent on purchases. No buy, no catalog. Then no problem if women balk at the digital airbrush sales dolls. Vic sex subscribers will be lonely men with too many laced headies. <laughs> as a pioneer of coercive retailing, Vic sex should dominate the industry. 3D holographic projection boxes will extend the game. Celebrities, supermodels, and porn stars can have their images digitized. You can select your favorite sales clone, and just like church windows on wild palms, Sharon Stone struts through your room and starts shifting about on your least comfortable chair, talking up a strange mix of products. <laughs> Not strange, of course. Each was suggested by an AI expert system sifting your psychographic profile. <laughs> And speaking of personal, certain Nintendo-like attachments give the exchange a more intimate, yes, touch. <laughs> sales has always been a form of seduction, right? Uh, we can't, let the, uh, can't allow interactive sales to undermine the moral what's this of our consumers, can we? As AI, as AI systems track the view purchase habits of every citizen, we can pinpoint those lonely souls addicted to porn pitches and maybe strafe their endless sales stripper reviews with an occasional self-help infomercial. <laughs> the sales stripper fades to pink, a male figure oozes out of the wanker's holo box in an aura of blue light. Yes, he's outgrows Christ for the second year. It's Tony Robbins. Tony guarantees salvation with his Tony Robbins personality download. <laughs> as, personally, as personally endorsed by Hans Moravec himself on the same channel. Crowding in with Tony on the dank tissue strewn hide a bed are satisfied implantees Martin Sheen, Casey Kasem, Fran Tarkington, and Pamela Anderson. Spittle gathers at the corners of their mouths as they display their efforting skills and puff up with personal power. Past infomercial stars, you see, will be preserved as digital clones. Ricardo Montalban, once of Fantasy Island and currently of the Grillery, will live eternally within shopper space forever touting kitchen things and announcing prizes. Housepersons, act now. Sweepstakes winners are eligible for one full night, one full virtual night with Ricardo between high-resolution Corinthian leather sheets. 
you know when you're getting the hard sell, but not when the semiotics of the presentation, the products, talkers, production values, graphics, and editing directing style map so perfectly onto your psychographic profile. You can scoff at the granny trap kits of HSN QVC, but someday soon you may thumb surf your way into your own semiotic monkey trap. Yeah, shows your friends might have written, talkers who seem to share your most guarded tastes. A Loom Panics channel, a modern primitives channel, a Fugazi Discord channel. Welcome to the machine. You, even the most spectacle savvy DeBoer disciples, are only one well designed narrow cast away from becoming quiescent, vacuous consumers. The pay per view mechanism of choosing your programming will locate you in the proper target market. Consistently choosing The Simpsons and David Letterman will triangulate your lifestyle, allowing marketers to get you where you live. And your shows will be custom tailored for a target market of one, every offering a bullseye. No wake up reminders that TV is trying to target everyone because campaigns that don't apply to you, you will never see. And there'll be no escape. Anti-TV activism, you stupid Luddite. When your integrated TV computer telephone next rings, will you refuse to answer it? Biting off Freud, Avital Ronell reminds us that there is no no on the telephone. The same can be said for the smart TV. Whether you're dialing to order or shouting neo-Marxist critiques at the ad, you are answering the call. Simply by watching, you are saying yes to the medium and all of its transmission. And when the 500 channels start calling, the caller, the messages transmitted, will increasingly resemble you. The lure of interactivity is that you create your own programming. And as you make your choices, you reveal yourself utterly. The AI expert systems are playing gotcha with your soul. As they hone their analysis of your view purchase patterns, they will feed you back what they determine you want, predetermining your desires as you become ever more narrowly what your psychographic profile says you are. The spiral narrows relentlessly down to the center. You are what you watch. Thanks.